Hey everybody, <clears throat> Danny Moon here. Um, you see me with this jacket on, so you know what it is. I'm at work. Um, but something led me to do this daily reading. The next 48 hours, all I heard in my head was urgent and calm and collective. Don't ask me how the two relate. I don't know. But I heard urgent more than twice in my head. Urgent, urgent. And calm and collective. Calm and collective. So, I don't know how that pertains to you. But as soon as I... This is for the next 48 hours. Because if I got in my head urgent... Maybe something is coming quickly. And then, as I am meditating over the cards... Praying over the cards... For whoever, I ask spirit, whoever watches this, please give them accurate messages. Look what the first card that came out. Sorry. Eight of Wands. This means fast movement. This means a message. That This means coming in quickly, either email phone call, text, some type of urgent, fast movement. Um, I heard urgent in my head, but this means quick movement, so I'm guessing that whatever this urgent message is, it pertains to this card, so Spirit wants you, is warning you. Spirit is letting you know, whether it's good or bad news, Spirit is letting you know something is coming in, and it's coming in within the next 48 hours, maybe 72, but I doubt it, 48 hours, um, urgent message. Uh, your next card was the hangman. We get this a lot, you know, I tell everyone, it's cool to be the hangman, you hanging around, but you see that little light in the back of his head, that means God is telling him something, God is saying something. God is trying to enlighten you, trying to tell you something. He's probably trying to tell you to get off of this hanging tree. It's cool that you're hanging around, but you can't hang around forever. Once you get a thought or an idea or a quick message coming in, Spirit is saying, get off your ass. I don't know about what. Um put it towards your life as it comes but remember the next 48 72 hours something's coming in and spirit is trying to tell you to to adhere to whatever this message is spirit is trying to tell you something the next card was the star and you know what's crazy it's only as I'm going through these cards to see that all, the, all of these cards, the ones I pulled out so far, are all from spirit. This is a spirit card. This isn't a spirit card. This is a message card. But it just shows me that this is was the first card to come out. And then this was the second. So this is showing me that spirit is trying to tell you something. A message is coming in. You need to listen to it. And then you get the star card, card which means wishes. This also means balance your life out. But the big star is there because this is a divinely guided card. This is spirit telling you, you are divinely guided. Spirit is over you. Whoever passed away that you was close to is with you, watching over you, walking with you. Your steps are guided. So whatever this message is going to be, you are going to be strongly uh, protected, strongly protected, whether it's good or bad news. The next card that came out was the 10 of Pentacles. You notice, if y'all don't know, if y'all new to my channel, this is my favorite card. Pentacles is money. If you got 10 of Pentacles, that means you doing it at work. You making your money, your account is good, um, your bills are paid, and this means legacy, long-term money. Like you either coming into some money, or you have money, or you're saving money, but you, you okay. You okay right now. Or the message might be about money. This also has to do with your home life. Like um, 
I know if you can't see me, I'm in the car, y'all. You know, the sun is shining. Um, this also has to do with your home. Like your... I always say it all the time. It has to do with like your wealth, your your home wealth. You know, your material wealth. That's what it is. Your material wealth. What you buy and things like that. So it's telling me you have enough. You have enough to pay your bills and do the responsible things. And then you have enough money saved over for yourself or for your family. Your next card was the Queen of Swords. Now, this is a communication card. This is also a card of clarity, um, direct directiveness like sh the queen of swords is very directive like she you see her hand up her head is not in the clouds she's not like oblivious about things she knows exactly what she wants what she's doing she knows exactly what she's going to tell that message that comes in she knows exactly what she's going to do with that message what she's going to say how she's going to react and now that she knows that she is protected by the Lord. Let me pick this up so you can see me. Now that she knows that she's protected by the Lord and by the grace of God and by whoever you believe in, this queen of swords is highly, highly protective. She's intuitive. So she knows what's coming before it even comes. Okay. So she knows what this message is about, but she's going to take care of it. Doesn't she look, this doesn't look like a scared woman. Okay, and remember that um, there's no gender in tarot, y'all. So don't feel no type of way if I say woman. And you know what? These cards keep falling. But luckily, I already gave those to you. Your last card is um, Three of Pentacles. Three of, Pentacle, Three of Pentacles is like almost like work related not totally but usually you're working on something it's a collaboration you're joining forces with people to help you do something a project a side job or at your job or in your family y'all are putting together something but it's something and it's a pentacles card so it has to do with money job stability but you are coming together <clears throat> and that could be maybe what the message is about maybe somebody is going to call you and tell you something about this work that this work that y'all about to do or this project y'all are gonna about to start or something that you are about to um take a leap of faith on you're going to do it with people with uh, your community your family people you that support you uh, uh, um now i'm holding this thing i i brung my tripod because I thought that it could um, stand up. But obviously it can't. I have problems in my home and problems in the car. Go figure. Um, I'm trying to get the cards together so that I can go through them with you. Um, but I told you that they fell. Just remember y'all. I, <clears throat> I am an intuitive reader. So I go off of like what I feel and whatever I channel, like whatever comes to my brain. And as soon as I get it, I come to, I, as soon as I get it, I mean, I talk to spirit, I talk to spirit about like, where does this go? And then when I got the word urgent and um, calm and collected, collective or collected, I, I couldn't make it out, but it was calm and collected like that. Um, as soon as I got it, I didn't have a Zodiac sign to give it, to give it to. So this is why I'm doing a daily poll because this could be for the, I just got three new subscribers just now, like 10 minutes ago. So this could be their energy. This could be someone around them. Remember, this is all energy coming to me. Um, so just remember, you're going to get a quick message that's coming in. God is bringing it to you. This is why you're enlightened. You see the sun shining or that light behind his head. That means God is bringing this message to you. I don't know what it's about. Part, put it to your own life. You're going to be able to, to, whatever this message is going to be, you're going to know that it's coming. You're going to know that it's coming. And the reason you're going to know that it's coming is because you got the star card. The star card, you're very knowledgeable. You're divinely guided. This means protection from the divine. This is like one of the best spiritual cards you could get in the deck. 
okay so when the message come to you and you already know the answer please know that's not you that's the divine doing that for you that's god that's your god doing whatever goodness for you then to turn around and get the ten of pentacles behind that which is all money this is this is a blessing this is a blessing please look up right now and give gratitude to the universe say thank you even before the message come in because whatever it is going to be you're going to be highly protected and you're going to be able to take care of your business and then spirit is giving you people to work with that you like that's partaining to your money you can't yeah, there's no way that you can walk away from this reading without saying thank you god okay so that's it y'all it's a quick daily um message I got to get back to work. I wanted to just upload this and tell y'all, all my new subscribers, thank you so much. You know, I got a different do-rag on every day. Tell me which ones you like. You know, leave comments. I love when people leave comments. Sometimes I miss them, but then when I always go back and check, I always answer them. So, I love you, Danny Moon. I'm out. My phone's about to cut off. Um, I'm sending love and light to you. Remember, you can email me at karenfordance at gmail.com.